Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Anthony, CH Mosher, and I'm here with update 1.6, the final quality of life update for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. I've been playing this since the day it came out, and we've been going here for 12 days-ish, and I have kind of get, gathered an opinion and really looked into what this update had to offer for us all. So I'm going to go through it all with you guys and kind of give my opinion and and see where we stand right now so first order of business here as you can see is the map chu yet uh, which is a map made by psycho pigeon with it which is a, a beach landing and uh, you see the footage here running in the background i must say it is a very special map uh, psycho pigeon said that Tripwire needed a map and he was working on this one in the background so he made this map on his own time and Tripwire put it in on the official roster. It is an interesting map. One problem is that there is way too many shotguns, way too many smoke grenades and there is no grunt and gorilla rolls. So it's, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's somewhat of a special map and let's see how the meta develops if people can actually make the map fun to play or how it is. But right now... It's, a, it's kind of a meme and a bit of a gimmick and it doesn't play that well, but let's see what happens over time. Next point here is gameplay adjustments on Da Nang Air Base and Kaesan. So they have kind of uh, tweaked the tickets. They put in some different roles. Uh, so they provided more smoke, more snipers. For what reason, I don't know about the snipers, but there you go. And uh, those kind of things. And I played the maps a couple of times each and it seems okay. You know, I like both maps, and uh, let's see uh, over time here when uh, when we get some more gameplay on the on the maps, if if it works better, it looks very promising. So this is a really good thing, I would say. On the third order of business here, we come into bug fixing, and Tripwire has tried to fix some of the exploits bugs by adjusting the collision volumes on some maps here. I have tested out uh, Hui City and Chu Chi. And you can see some of the footage here in the background. And I must say that they have tried fixing a lot of stuff. I want to give them credit for... Uh, they have fixed, for example, the uh, the Charlie roof exploit on Chu Chi, where you could crawl up there. They've fixed some of the roof exploits on Hui City, but there's still ways to get up there. And I've seen a screenshot starting to appear on Reddit where people show how they have found new exploit with the with the stop tripwire has uh, done. And what they basically have done is they've, uh, you know, these uh, collision boxes, they've increased those so it's more difficult getting to unauthorized places. Uh, the spots I have checked, as you can see, are, you know, it's it's some of them they have fixed, some of them ha they have not. It, it seems kind of random sometimes, but it doesn't seem like they have broken anything. But we're going to have to see as people get through the maps and... Uh, and, and check it out and don't be afraid to leave a comment down below if if you have checked some of the exploit spots on, on some of the maps and, and and tell us all if they're still there or if they have uh, if they have uh, fixed them and I would really like to know if you guys have found anything and if you have found anything new please let me know and, and post it in the comments down below and then here we get uh, to the biggest issue here the voice communication so as you know since the epic game store uh, integration, the uh, Epic Game Store client integration, the voice com has been broken to hell. Uh, the problem right now is, for example, you can hear people from other servers in the main menu. You can hear the enemy team and 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 the bug. Uh, before the bug was kind of fixable, you could kind of fix the issue with uh, cycling the voice channels, but that has totally gone now. There is no chance with cycling the, the voice channels, and it's still just as disgusting so uh, now it's even gone dynamic so that means that you can join one round if you join with three friends and try and play a game in one round you can't hear your first friend and in the second round you can't hear your your second friend but you can hear your thir first friend again and so on so it's dynamic it switches and sometimes it actually switches in game so while you're playing if you die uh, you might uh, be able to hear people after you spawn in. So it's it's very, 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 very weird. And uh, Tripwire has even, as you see here, made a post, some of the moderators, that they have a 1.6 uh, sound bug investigation going. So <laughs> that is, uh, they're investigating the problem, but you know they have said that this is the final quality of life update. 
Uh, one thing they have actually done well, and I must give them credit for that uh, with the audio, uh, Tripwire has fixed. Uh, um, so when you're dead, you cannot hear your team, and that is super interesting. You can you cannot hear anybody. So that so that means that you cannot kind of cheese the force respawn meta. As you know, the force respawn meta where you call for everybody to hold their spawn. So Tripwire has kind of fixed that, and that is super positive. It is just a shame that uh, this is going to be the lasting legacy of Rising Storm to Vietnam, this buggy mess. You know, they've, they've kind of done what they can, and uh, but let's hope that they, for the next game, uh, come out uh, and use a new engine. And uh, I'm pretty reliably informed that they are going to be using a new engine and uh, we're all going to be waiting for 83 to come out. But in the meantime, you know, we're still going to be playing Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. But the second you have a better offering out there, this game is going to die faster than, you know, anything else. It, I don't think it's going to have to, the sustainability as Rising Storm 1 and uh, Red Orchestra 2 and Rising Storm 1, which people are still playing. And on a final note here, they also fixed some Green Army Men stuff that nobody cares about Um Honestly, I, I don't know anybody that plays Green Army Men mod. Do you guys play Green Army Men mod? I don't know nobody that plays it. So, yeah, why fix any... Like, <laughs> this has been a very mediocre update. We were hoping for so much more, but this is what we got. And we got to look at the bright side that not more is broken. They have done some nice stuff with you not being able to hear people when you're dead. The voice calm issues are still a catastrophe. And with a game where you're so reliant on, on team play and being able to communicate with the team and we've had so much fun with that, it is, uh, yeah, it is not a good thing. So this is kind of where we stand. I'm super interested in hearing what you guys think. Where do you stand in all of this? I, I would sure like to hear. Over the last couple of months, I've been streaming quite a lot on Twitch and, you know, we've been having a lot of fun over there playing Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. So... If you want, come hang out and uh, enjoy some games with me. Jump in the squad and we'll have a lot of fun. Also, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe here to the YouTube channel, like the video. And as always, your opinion means a lot to me. So please put it down below. I'm super interested in that. And uh, let me know what you all think. And uh, I really hope you enjoy this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.